Here we are. We are at the conclusion of our Mount Holly Victorian. Uh, this particular property was brought to us by a networked realtor that we, uh, we've done business with in the past. And um, we were just reaching out to her to see if she had anything coming about. And it turned out that this is how this property came to be. It's an estate. Um, and the, uh, the current uh, executor is out of state from what I understand and uh, it was in the family for quite some time. A lot of the neighbors here, you know, were all telling us and filling in the blanks of the stories of the previous owners. Um, but here it was one of those where the out-of-state owner was just ready to let it go, had the realtor take care of doing the clean out and everything of that nature. And um, we were able to step in, you know, came to an agreeable price and uh, we were able to close on it. We are about five months at this point. Um, and we tried everything in our power to restore this property, not to make a lot of change, but to kind of bring back the life of this particular property. Um, and so with that, there was a lot of fix. There was a lot of uh, rot, you know, of that nature. Um, this house, um, my biggest surprise when doing this particular project was that um, I think we dropped about $4,000 just in paint materials into this particular property uh, because it God only knows the last time this place was painted. So, um, but we painted it both the inside, the outside, every nook, every cranny. Um, it's all refreshed. Uh, this place was built in 1865. So 158 years, uh, almost 160 years old. Hopefully for what we've done to it, uh, she's gonna last at least another 100 years easily. Um, so she is now a four bedroom. When we bought, it was a three. It is a four bedroom, one and a half bath. Um, we modernized it in just a few areas here and there, basically to what I would want uh, if I were moving into a home like this. So in the kitchen, uh, when we stepped in, it was 70s. There was orange paint, there was a drop ceiling, there was a ceiling fan in the middle of the kitchen. Uh, we had vinyl flooring that was, was the vinyl sheet good. Um, it was just one outer wall of cabinets. We had a 36 inch stove. Um, and then uh, what was a, more of a challenge for me was that it just felt very, very enclosed. You know, this is a, this is a pretty good sized house. It's four bedrooms, but you know, for a healthy family to come into this home, it was, you wouldn't want the kitchen to be where only one person could operate in it. And that's what I felt when I came into this place. Um, so what we did is we, we eliminated some sort of a closet that was in the corner. There was two doors that, that let you both out onto the same rear porch. Um, so we eliminated the closet. We eliminated the second door and gave ourselves a whole nother corner. Um, which allowed us at that point to be able to move the big box, the refrigerator, you know, one of the key pieces in the, in the kitchen, move that over into the corner spaces where we, we basically allocate it where it'll land. Um, and then we, we took the outer wall and gave it a return. So now it's an L-shaped kitchen and that allowed us to introduce a dishwasher that didn't exist and to move the stove a little bit further away from the sink and from the refrigerator um, to now where the stove has room on the right side and room on the left side for preparation and setup for the cooking. So far we've had great positive feedback from all the neighbors and uh, we're, uh, we're ready to hit the market. So here we are in November and um, you know she's gonna be on the market as early as next week. So again, thanks so much, checking it out and uh, we'll see you on the next video.